Hey everyone, and welcome back. Lucette the Unlucky has just gotten married to Yisolda, the aspiring traitor from White Run. Yeah, we literally just walked out of our own wedding, so um, I don't even know what to do now. I mean, we have to head back home. And talk to the kid. Was the kid even there? I didn't even see. It all happened so fast. It was like this blur. I saw a few guests. Then I was facing the other way. So maybe the kid was there and stuff. All right, let's put the ring on. Um. Guaranteed be yours. clean and free from rock joints. All right. Buying and selling fine jewelry. If you're looking for a handout, you want to speak with my husband. Oh my God, we already had this discussion. Gems, uh, potions, last exotic episode. ingredients. I have them all. All right. Jewelry Genuine with legendary blood elixir you in town, eh? Live for thousands Here for of the years. fishing, I guess. No. Well, by fishing, you mean catching the, uh, the uh, love of our life? Yep. That's what we did. All right. Anyway, I don't know. Um, Beautiful barbels and gleaming gemstones. Make love like a saber cat, or crush your enemies to dust like a giant. Hey, how you doing there, I heard about buddy? you and your honeyed butt. I heard about you and your honeyed butt. Well, I don't know what you're doing there, but uh, teach me that trick, guy. Teach me that trick. All right. Anyway, yeah, we're just walking through town. Uh, a lot of commotion. It's a beautiful day out. And uh, I don't know. I thought there'd be some type of after party or something, but everyone left. So we got to go back to the house. I guess they're all there. Uh, this could have been a little more exciting, to be honest. But, uh, hey, we pledged our love to the goddess Mara. And that's what's important, because in this season, we're heading towards the divines. Yeah, we're trying to uh, improve our life, basically, here, you know. Alright, yeah, so in our quest for the divines, we hit the temple of Mara, yada, yada, yada. We're married now, so... Uh, yeah. We had spent the whole first, you know, 50 you episodes north, of this well series Snap Cave, fighting vampires and, and uh, being tempted place. by Daedra and giving in to those temptations. Oh, here's the bride now. I don't know how she got ahead of us. Well, we went around the one way. She probably cut through the other way. All right. Well, here's the Khajiit caravans, her favorite thing. Hey. Hello, my love. Hey, love. Back from some adventure, I bet. Um, if that's what you want to call our wedding, like we literally just walked out of it. Uh, so, um, oh, by the way. Guess who killed the spider? Uh, Isolde. Yeah, I helped them. We did it. Uh, we did it yesterday. All right. Well, we have our guard here, the caravan guard. Jargo. Goods and of all and uh, he was our follower at one point. This one weary. Just for a little bit. So you know what? Let's take then him with us. On, friend. I'm sure that uh, Isolde there will appreciate bringing this guy the home with us. And the uh, war have scared many other little presents for her or something. Come she come loves the Khajiit caravans, there and we're going to have our own caravan so guard uh, hanging out us. with us. So, uh, they take a look. Our very own caravan. She can hook him up with the uh, sleeping tree stuff or whatever they're doing. <laughs> I don't even know. You got to ask her about that. I don't know. She, you saw her eyes in the last episode, man. She's a little strung out, all right? She is a little bit strung out on this stuff. But you know what? We love her anyway. Through death, uh, better or worse, and all that good stuff, right? And we knew what we were getting into. We found that out before the wedding. And, uh, hey, we've done some shady stuff, too. We, we're basically a chem dealer here, too, you know? All right. Anyway, uh, let's just do a little trade in here. We have a few extra things that we caught in our uh, travels, maybe. And we're just seeing. What did we just buy, anyway? I'm here ranting and... Uh, not paying attention. Oh, it was just another one of those uh, extend your alchemy uh, necklace thing. I guess we have a helmet and a ring. Maybe how it adds. Uh, I don't know. All right. Anyway, it's got a few miscellaneous things here. I don't know why we're doing this, but <laughs> I can't resist when I see the Khajiit out here. Well, I mostly did it because uh, Yasolda was there. I thought we would do this as a couple. These are her people or whatever. You know, she's uh, always talking about them at any rate. And she learned the whole trade, which uh, maybe they're not the best people to learn the trade from. <laughs> I mean, she just ended up selling some shady stuff there. But uh, 
hey, she's doing what she's got to do, and she seems like she's pretty good at it, you know. Um, so, I don't know. May your road lead you to We got no sands. problem with them. We're even friendly with them. I'm just saying, you know. Uh, I don't know about them mentoring me look. in the ways of a tr trade, you know. I mean. If you want to open a legitimate store, you know, you gotta get you gotta get some other advice too. I'm saying, all right. She wants to buy the inn or the uh, I yeah hope the inn. That you will come the to the business in with us again. But now she's living with us, so I don't even know if she's going back to White Run. You know, I don't know. We should try to take over the inn. Now I'll be half owner, right? All right, man. We're looking good. All right, let's go back to the house. Winstead Manor. Check out the wife and the kid and the bard and the other guy that lives there and the chickens and uh, the horse and the guy sitting in the carriage all day. <laughs> this guy never leaves. Uh, We've got our own personal sugar. Uber guy here. This guy's drooling over moon sugar. I guess he's Mama, getting it from you sold the Hey, Lucia. Hey, I got you something. You like your new mom? Hope your you other like mom? What you get? Oh, nice. Wow. How did you know? What did she just give us? Like, how'd she know that we're... She gave us, like, some alchemy ingredient that we've never even had. Look at this. We've never even seen it before. That's actually the best gift a kid could give us. She must have found it in the woods or something. Look at that. What the heck even is that? Parasol. Oh, my God. All right. Take it. Yeah. Looks good. Wow, that was quite the wedding gift there. Daughter, we can call her daughter now, right? I don't know. All right, let's get some chicken eggs, make some breakfast. There's nothing. All right, well, I guess uh, maybe the, the maid already or whatever, the bard, nanny. She probably made breakfast. I don't even know these people's names. I do not even remember their names. Meanwhile, we're still getting this stuff for uh, Blackbriar. Um, well, we still have to help our fellow alchemist here. Just because we had a little crush on her. And now we're married. Uh, we're not, it doesn't mean anything that we're bringing her flowers. Or, you know. It's an alchemy ingredient. This is literally our job, you know. So. Alright. Well, let's go back here and... Uh, we have some other alchemy ingredients in the backyard. Because we have like a fish hatchery here. So we can jump in. I mean, I wonder if we can take them out. I don't know how this works. Do we just go to the, the little thing on the end? Or that's where you put the fish in. We put the fish in there and then we can go capture them. I think we have to swim around. I don't think there's a fishing rod we can build in this game I like games with fishing mechanics actually it's pretty funny every game I play is fishing I just played Yakuza 0 this whole game Freaking, you're like this uh, tough guy Yakuza guy it's pretty goofy too you talk in a quest and everything you, know, you can sit there in the river and fish all day too and then uh, you actually have to sell the fish to the sushi restaurant and all this stuff so uh, it's <laughs> Of all games, I didn't expect that to have fishing mechanic in it, you know? Look at it. We got a cat swimming around here, by the way. And, uh, yeah, we got a bunch of fish, so... Oh, I'm drowning. I think I'm drowning. All right. All right. Well, it's snowing. This is not... Oh, man, is our butt showing? Um, yeah, our, the, the, we got some pretty thin fabric here, so it's sticking to our body a little bit. But, uh, yeah, don't... Uh, we're not. We're not getting... Uh, this cat, I hope this cat's not getting frisky there. I think it's just a fish. I think the cat's getting excited about the fish. Nothing to do with the dress or anything. Um, everything's on the up and up here. I mean, well, we'll see. We'll see what you sold this says. She's the one that likes the uh, Khajiit so much, right? We brought one home for her. It's her wedding present. We got a Khajiit caravan guard, an official guard here. Guarding the house and guarding me when we go out and all that stuff. So, uh. All right, so we got some silver sides. All right, let's see how this thing works. Let's see what's in here. I think it's just the same things. Um, if there's other fish in the game, I don't know what the how many fish there are. We can throw those in here too. 
But the only thing you can't farm here, I know. We can throw the salmon in here, right? But you can't get the salmon row. Unless they're going over a waterfall. You gotta catch them in the act of going over the waterfall. Otherwise, you smash the row or something. I don't know. Something happens to it and you can't harvest it. So, uh, yeah. Well, there it is. Alright, well, let's go uh, dry off inside. It's a little, a little brisk out here. It's like snowing everywhere. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, see, we're not, we don't have Frostfall installed. We're not, I don't have to worry about that, right? Anyway, I should do a Frostfall hey, later. Soon. To market. Anyway. There were lots of pies and cakes there. Alright. She said she'd show me how to bake one. Wow, well, I don't, I don't know what she's putting in that cake there, uh. I gotta talk with the other souls. Of, um, all right. Watch out Did you need something, things. Mama? No, honey. We're just checking in on everyone, honey. All right. I guess we're gonna go to the uh, chest here and dump our stuff and uh, see what we got. All right, man. That armor. That's some nice armor, but uh. uh we could be wearing dong armor. We want to leave that part up behind. I don't know. I'm still working on this. We, we've been wearing these, the vampire armors, which look so good. It's, it's such a great look for this character. And the hood, not that hood, but the uh, mage's hood. Uh, but, you know, we've been wearing this. Well, we've been wearing the white version of this because we went to the Temple de Bella, yada, yada, yada. I don't know. We're doing the divine thing. We're trying to leave that life behind of, like, the vampire slayer, you know, wearing his blood-colored cloak and all that stuff. You know, so the only problem is what do we wear in battle? You know, we're not going to – we've I, I've accidentally worn this in battle a few times already. But, uh, you know, I want to find something new to represent our new thing. Now, I do have something upstairs we're going to try out. They can wear these robes. They don't do anything. They have zero armor. They're not even magic. So they look pretty cool, but what, what, what's the point of wearing that? Um, we have all these staffs. Like, I don't know. I guess these are good if we have a, a follower that wants to use a staff. How may this one serve you? All right, let's check his stuff here. Let's do a look. What do you need? He's wearing a jeweled necklace. That, that's for a little extra touch there. He doesn't even really need it for anything. But, uh. It's not enchanted or anything. It's just a necklace. Alright, we're just gonna give him a cloak. I like a cloak look. I don't know. I just like the look of having a cape in the back. I don't know. Give him one. What else can we do? Nah, he's not going to wear vampire armor. <laughs> that would be cool, though. That would be cool. Yeah, he's got better armor on than that. All right, well. Kajit is ready for any troublemakers. All right, well. well the, the, don't, uh, don't, don't take care of the kid. I know she's going to cause trouble. She knocked everything over in the kitchen the other day. But uh, we don't need the cat taking care of that. All right, where is uh, Solda, anyway? Hmm. What's her name? Seer? I can't even say that. Whatever. We're calling her the nanny or the bard. Whatever her name is. It's like bees buzzing everywhere. All right. Here's our little storeroom back here. We got a little stash box uh, away from the wife and the kids. This is our uh, bug out bag here. If we got to take off, we got some precious gems we can run. With. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> anyway. I don't know. Just trying to s keep stuff a little separate so I know where stuff is. Alright, here we got this guy here. I couldn't figure out how to give him better armor. He's the house, Carl. I don't know. He came with the place. Oh, we don't ask questions. Alright, so this is, I guess this is what we're going to do here. I kind of knew it was going to come to this. We got this, uh what they call snow elf the ancient these the farmer ancient farmer snow elf outfit 
these, this race is extinct. This is when farmers used to have a society and talk and all that good stuff. And uh, we met like a one of them or the ghost of one of them or something. I don't know. Two of them. How may this one actually. serve you? Uh, but. What do you need? Let's see if he'll wear this, actually. Let us see if he'll wear this first before we put it on. Because, I don't know, it's a little weird and heavy looking for us, but. It does do the trick as far as our, um. No, he's not wearing it. As far as, like, symbolically and what I've been going for, it, it's actually the perfect thing to wear. Because this is the quest that changed us right here. Listening to all the, the stories of, uh, and, um. You know, we had to use Ariel's bow, and Ariel is one of the divines, so, you know, that whole thing led us to that. All right, so for now, I don't know, we'll just leave that here. I don't know. I'm still thinking of wearing it. All right, let's try it on. Let's see. See, I don't know. It's all right. I guess maybe I don't have to wear the helmet. I can just wear it, keep a circlet on or whatever. I mean, the helmet looks pretty cool with this outfit, actually, so. That's kind of scary, badass looking. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, well. Let's see. I guess we're going to wear it. Maybe I'll change a few of the different parts later. We'll try it for now. Hey, at least it's armor. And like I said, this is the... Uh, well, it's not exactly the look I'm going for, but it's the idea I'm going for, for sure. So, it's fine. And it's not enchanted with anything either, is it? Now, we don't really do enchantments. Yeah, let's see if a different color umbrella might go better with it. It's got the red... I mean, the uh, again, the idea of that is all right. The white and the red, the blood red, but I don't, it doesn't actually look that great. Uh, I think the other umbrella probably looks a little bit better. But I'll tell you, I've said it every episode. I love this umbrella mod. I mean, who would have thought I'd be battling with some Japanese like paper umbrella in Skyrim? That is the power of mods, and it it works. I don't know. It just works. The thing is. You know, we're an alchemist. So, as long as you got a little bit of a pointy end on there, we're poisoning them. So, it doesn't make sense. You know, it's not like we're bashing them on the head with it and killing them that way. We're just using it as a vehicle to put a poison on them. So, it's pretty, you know, realistic <laughs> or whatever you want to call it, you know. Anyway, let's uh, just go take a little trip outside here. And there she is. The Hello, my new love. love. Back of from our some life. adventure, I bet. Well, we were literally just coming back from the wedding still, but uh, yeah. All right. Hey, oh, look at this. We can get a home cooked meal here. All right. You sold a. Let's brew. What do you got going here? Hopefully, it doesn't have any of that uh, weird stuff. Here, in this it. is fresh. I'll have another meal ready tomorrow. All right. All right. We get a meal a day from her. Home cooked meal, literally. All right. So. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, my love. All right. Look at this guy tanning the leather out here in the be rain. Cold in this place. Okay. She doesn't seem to care too much about a Kajarjo over here. Whatever. <laughs> I cannot pronounce any of these names. All right. So uh, yeah, we're not. Well, we're not. Listen, we're not robbing our wife here. We're not trying to steal her precious gems. We're, and we're not trying to get a little peek up the. Uh, you know. Uh, um. Here's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to change our clothes. I'm not exactly sure how this works, but, uh, all right. Let's see if we can. Because you can't trade with her like you can with a companion, and you can't make her a companion, but you can slip stuff into her inventory and hope that she uses it. Uh, unfortunately, she's not using it. So, uh, as much as I would like a little Yusolda here to wear that cute little outfit all around the house uh, worshiping Debella or whatever together um, I guess it is not meant to be but we can eat the little home cooked meal that she made for us and uh, drink a little spiced wine that we got from the lady in a solitude and uh, all right it's still a good day she's still wearing that ratty old dress but uh eh, 
What are you gonna do? Hello, my love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's pretty strong. Look at this chopping wood. We got a guy for that, by the way. Uh, he was just there tanning leather. Yes, Get him love. to chop that. Unless you want to. I don't know. Do whatever you want. Man, it's powerful. <laughs> All right. Sweetie, anyway. What is it? What is it? I don't know. We're just trying to pose here with the lake behind us and talk about everything. So I'm not trying to talk to you. Anyway. Sweetie, what is it? Oh, well, geez. We're standing too trying to get a screenshot here for the uh, video. All right, here we go. Oh, that's Glad a good here. one. That's the screenshot. All right, there we go. Oh, with him walking by. All right, well, we got it. Anyway, chopping wood, <laughs> chopping wood. It's funny, the other one has her in the, last one has her in the foreground. This one has her in the background, so. Uh, all right, it works. Yeah, we're in love. How did that even happen? I don't know, man. It was a whirlwind, but it happened. All right, and we got a pet cat or something, too. Do you like the cat? I brought a cat for you. She doesn't even care. All right, well. I mean, you know, she just needs him for business. He's the guard, so I guess she doesn't have too much to say to him. Uh, if she wants to do a trade, she's got to talk to the other mama? people. Yeah, no. You want to play a game? Are we going to play a game with her? No, we don't what have time it? for a game. What is it? Let's give her a present. Look at this, we got an apple pie and an apple dumpling. All right, and a red dress. I think she already has a red dress. All right, and did someone steal your sweet roll? Thanks. I got you another one. Oh, look at this, she changed into the new dress. She ate the sweet roll. What a cute kid. I think this kid was abandoned by her family. Her parents died. Her aunt and uncle kicked her out and took, stole the home, stole her parents' home. They took the deed, kicked her out. She's living on the streets. Sweetie, what is it? I'm telling the story of our daughter here. That's what it is. And uh, then she got kidnapped by a pack of vampires. We rescued her from there. Then she goes back. Eh, she's still on the street. So we, we're like, all right, well, I have a connection with this girl. We literally saved her life. And, uh, well, yada, yada, yada. We got a wife and kids. My love. If you don't mind, I'm going to start a small store. Okay. Something um, to do whenever you're on the road. Uh, all right, well, just don't have any shady people through here. Oh, my God. She's selling drugs out of the house. Kid, whatever you do, don't drink the sleeping treat sap that your mom's selling, okay? And this, if there's skooma, don't drink that either, okay? Skooma is only for the big people. And the cats, mostly for the cats, all right? This guy can drink the skooma, eat the moon sugar. It's fine. All right, we're going to read a little story to the kid here. Wow, this is actually pretty... This is a lot of words for a kid. I don't know. All right, well, I'm not going to read it. Yeah, that's, that's not the one I... There's a book sitting here. Figured I'd read it to the kid, but uh, I don't know. We got Miko over here, by the way. Uh, that was our companion for most of this series, actually. So we spent had a lot of adventures. Sometimes there was more than one companion, but there was always Miko there. Um, so we left Miko here at home, but, uh, you know, the kid is a dog. We got a whole happy family here. I might have to get another house just to get away from the law. But, uh, I mean, I do have the one in downtown. White Run, the, kind of the best house there. Well, there's richer houses, but we got the prominent house when you first walk in town, you know. There's definitely these big manors and all that. We got a little house. All right, let's put the priestess robe back on. And a uh, little pink. And well, we still have the gauntlets on, but who cares? Man, this bard has got quality stuff with the flute. I love the flute. What a great atmosphere. Pretty happy here. We just got married. We have a wife. And now we have a whole family. Somehow we popped a kid out of nowhere. Got a dog. We got a whole staff here. We got, what, three people on staff. We have one guy, he's a guard. He patrols the place, does some other work around the house. We got the bard, who's also a nanny and also a tutor to the kid. And I think she takes care of the dog, too. And then we have the guy out in the carriage. He sleeps there. He eats there. He waits there for us if we need a ride somewhere. All right, so we got a whole staff here. So, uh, we did pretty well for ourselves. And all this came from selling potions. All right, some of the stuff is good and some of it's bad. 
But it's all legit stuff, unlike our wife here selling stuff under the table. So uh, I don't know about that. All right, hey, what are you baking? You sold it. All right, we got dessert coming, guys. We got some dessert. Well, I already gave the kid a sweet roll, but I uh, hope it didn't spoil dessert for her. All right, well, maybe we got to leave that stuff to you sold it from now on. But we got to get on a kid's good side, right? All right. Man. All right, like I've said, she wasn't our first choice, but she's a pretty good choice. So, uh, Hello, my love. Hey, love. How you doing? Oh, look at that. She was checking out. She was checking out our butt walking past. I saw that. You guys see that? I saw it. All right. And we have another guy on the staff here. My own personal guard that I take with us, Kajargo. So, uh, yeah. Oh, look at this. We got some fancy wine here. Thanks, Yasolda. She stocked the house with the fancy stuff. Surreal Brothers. Wow. All right. <clears throat> Hello, my love. Yeah. Back from some adventure, I bet. All right. Man, oh, the dog loves us. Our wife loves us. Yes, my love. All right. Well, we're just trying to give a little tour of the place here. So, uh, all right. Let's see what else we got to do. All right. Yeah. This is the good life. We've done it. Everything looks so bleak and dark for a while. We were... Well, we've had this house, but we were staying at this castle most of the time. This dark, horrible castle. There was just weird people there. Obsessed with vampires. And uh, we were obsessed with vampires, too. And we did uh, get a little carried away with some Daedra and a little few bad things happen but hey everyone makes mistakes and we're not even saying that was a mistake we're still proud of the fact that uh, uh four different dangers chose us as like their uh you know their person here on earth to do their bidding so i, mean, I don't know that's pretty good right they they chose us out of everyone well they probably chose she's a lot of people some people don't choose to be uh tricked by them but hey hey you know what it all worked out for the best. Here we are. We got Miko, love and life. We got a whole garden inside, a whole greenhouse. Hello, my love. Hey, Back how are you so doing? Yes, my love. All right, love. she's already getting on her nerves with the repetitive uh, dialogue. This Trinkets, is why we wanted. And ends, that sort this of is thing. why I wanted Muri, by the way, just to step back from the character for a second. Muri, all right, if you know, well, there's a bug. Actually, I think the patch gets rid of this bug, so it wouldn't have worked out anyway. But on the, you know, the original version, Muri, she's. The thing she says here, instead of uh, back from some adventure, she'll say, thank you for taking care of my problem. And her problem was like, we killed her ex-boyfriend or whatever. And I always thought it was like the darkest thing. So I'm like, I need this woman here just saying that. It's like so funny. Like she's just constantly reminding you that like the only bond you have is that you literally murdered her ex uh, ex-boyfriend so i always got even though it's like annoying and repetitive i always got a kick out of that anyway look at this you sold it, opened up a store and we got some serious freaking stuff here hey, i'm dreaming of another girl but uh that was me personally not the character by the way the character is like she just brought this insane enchantments into our house here well we can get the white gold thing back we gotta pay for it now and uh i don't know it's pretty steep price there huh um but you know what? We can sell her our potions and all that good stuff too, right? We can literally just sit here making potions, selling stuff to her, buying stuff back, and uh, we'll make a fortune just doing that. So she'll sell it when we're out. And uh, yeah. All right. Look at this. She's got some pretty heavy spells here. Pale Shadow. That's like our favorite freaking spell. She copied that from us. Like... She's got some amazing... She opened up a really good store. Man, those Khajiit are supplying her with some good stuff. She must have given him, like, a crate of the sleeping tree sap. Although, you know what? Actually, the sleeping tree sap is, like... We're, the, we're her supplier for that now. Now that I think about it, like... The whole reason we found out is, like, the guy that was getting it for her died. We found the note on him. And now she's like, all right, well, I guess I need a new uh, supplier, so... You'll do. I mean, <laughs> this is basically what happened. So, um, I guess we better go back there so she can sell some more of that. But, you know, look at this. She's got a whole store full of stuff. She doesn't even need the sap. And I'm sure she's got plenty of moon sugar and uh, skooma going there that she's not showing us because, uh, well, 
I mean, if you're dealing with the Khajiit, I'm sure you got like a whole crate of that somewhere. You better not be putting that in my basement, though. That's my private, uh, my love. you know, Please. woman cave be or whatever you want to call it. Soon. Well, not woman cave. I mean, that came out the wrong way. But, you know, you know what I mean? I want to say man cave, but we're, you know, yeah, yeah, I, I can't even get into this pronoun stuff. All right. So, uh, you know, all I know is that's our spot. You don't go down into the basement. All right. If you want to fill some of these barrels up with moon sugar, just make sure the kid doesn't eat it, all right? And don't let Kajargo here get into it either because, uh, you know, it ain't free, right? All right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, don't tell him where that stuff is. He, that's all he talks about is moon sugar, man. He doesn't even, he doesn't even want the skooma. He just wants the pure stuff, man. He's, like, freebasing that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I don't know about this guy, but you know what? He's pretty chill. He's pretty cool, and he's a pretty damn good fighter. So, uh, hey, what are you going to do? All right. Anyway, I don't know. I'm kind of loving this playthrough, to be honest. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, this has definitely been a chill episode, but uh, I don't know. I'm amused. I'm thoroughly amused by uh, everything going on and the dynamics between all my characters here. Um I don't know. This guy, Valdemir. Glad you're here. Why? Why are you even here, man? The whole reason I have all these people here is I didn't want to just live alone with this guy, honestly. That was the whole impetus Good for to this. See you. Well, no. The real impetus was I needed somewhere to drop the dog off. But, uh, and the only way you can leave a dog in a house is if there's a kid there. The kid and the kid's like, oh, you have a pet. Can I, Can we keep it? I'm like, yeah. I mean, I've been traveling with it. It's been here. Anyway, I guess we're going to sleep. I don't know. Should we sleep? Or we'll wait. All right. Well, here's what I'm trying to do is... uh, I still want to change her outfit. I don't know. And I don't, what I don't want is I don't want this guy sleeping, watching us when we sleep. Kajit, head right. on then. I will keep you know? an eye out. <laughs> like, all right, I know I said I brought the Kajit home to, to put away. Like, it's not exactly what I meant there, you know. Oh, well, maybe, but, you know, she's got to be the one to bring it up, you know. So <laughs> we're, not, we're not being like, hey, we got a, you know, a little wedding gift for you. We got a cat. I don't know. I don't know. If there was... Hello, my love. She Back even... from some adventure, I bet. All right. Well, I don't know. I guess we're just going to go to bed here. That's not going to work. All right. Well, here we go. This is the big consummation of our love or whatever. Well, you know, we're not going to show that. You know, we're going to go black. But, uh, yeah, got the flute playing, a little mood music there. You know, I don't know. Got the cat outside. No, I don't know. Oh, it's still playing. All right. Well, she's knocked out for the night. So, uh, I guess that's that. All right. So. You're ready to. Excellent. Let's go. All right. Let's get out of here. Well, let's hit the basement here. I got a few things I got to do in the workshop before we go. And yeah, that's it. Well, so this episode, like I said, not that much happened. Just a nice visit back to the homestead. Taking care of stuff. Uh, just saying hi to everyone. Introducing all the characters to you. And we're going to make a few things down here, I think. All right. Uh, well. We can make our shrine. All right, we can make an Akatosh one. I think I have all those things. Well, I don't know what, what are you, a flawless amethyst upstairs. Oh, no, I got one down here. Nice, nice. All right. I think I got everything for that. All right, so we can make one. So, yeah, this is kind of the goal right now of this whole season is to make all these. I don't think I can make the um, Talos one, but uh, besides that, I don't, you need dragon bone, and I haven't spawned dragons in the game, so yeah. Um, all right, so what do we got? Akatosh. What's Akatosh? Let's see what we do here. We got the blessing of Akatosh. We haven't encountered anyone talking to Akatosh, I don't think. All right, we got Delbella, Mara. We got a lot of stuff here. 
All right, we don't need the amulet anymore. All right. Got the pouch. Mother's love. Oh, blessing of Agatash. Mother's love is what? Healing spells. Interesting. And potions. Nice. All right, and magic, it regenerates. That's a great one. We like that one. Where do I have to go? I got to figure out what quest has Akatosh featured. I don't even know. For all I know, I did it already. I'm not paying too much attention here. Um, but yeah, I don't really remember that one. All right. Well, nice little trip to the basement. Man, I'll tell you, the first time I played Skyrim, you know, and, you know, it was like this This was new. The uh, Hearthfire mod just came. I didn't play Skyrim right away when it came out, but I did play Hearthfire mod right away when it came out. I love those, the basement. I had like gold down, I had like a gold bar, like so much stuff down there. I loved hanging out down there. But I ha always hated that you had to go through another uh, load screen to get there, you know. But whatever. I like, I kind of like this DLC. It's real simple. Obviously, they like expanded it when they made Fallout 4 with the settlement system. Uh, I do wish it was a little more customizable and you could have three different layouts for the thing instead of just like different rooms on the side. Like I wish the main room looked different on the three different houses, but that's about it. Like that, you know, I don't, I like how it's kind of simple and you know, you have to do some work to do it, but it's not like, it's not like insane. Like the settlement build where you're trying to place stuff on this weird ground. that's not even flat. Like, I don't know. I mean, I do like that too, but I'm saying I like this the simplicity of this. Well, there's no bees buzzing or anything anymore. I guess they're sleeping. <coughs> oh my God! Look at this. Uh, the kid is it, or was he sold a? I don't know. Partying a little too hard. Look at this. There's stuff everywhere. Or maybe it's a dog. There's literally stuff everywhere on the floor. He sold a. Can you clean this stuff up? Hello, I mean, what the love. hell do I get married Back for if you don't clean yes, the house? Yes, my love. What do you anyway, need? We're already get off to a good start here. Yelling Trinkets, at each other. odds and ends, that sort right, of thing. Let's see what she has for sale. She doesn't have good weapons, but she has some nice apparel here. Some really interesting stuff. A circle of witches. Alright, so I don't know exactly what I'm looking for here. Look at her. <laughs> Look at what she's marking. Look at how much she's selling this stuff for. We sell her. We sold that for under a thousand. I'm sure of it. She's not worth twenty three fifty. She's bringing it. Now I, I, she's not gouging us. This is what she's bringing into the household here. So uh, just don't let them use them on you. You know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel good about having any shady characters sell, <laughs> come into the house and buying stuff. I hope she's going traveling around or you know something. I don't know. Where does she go? Does she go out front or does she do let them in the house? Like I need to know this type of stuff. Like, all right. 474 is all she's given us for that. That's a, it's like four or five time mark up there. All right. Oh, here we go. Mammoth tusks here. Take it. All right. You can just have it, hon. We know you love the mammoth tusks. Don't even let me know. My love. Don't, I don't want to know what you're doing Be careful with that. and come but, back uh, soon. Yeah, I will. All right. Need sell something? some of those to those Khajiit. We killed those mammoth ourselves, hon, by the way. That is freshly killed. And you know where we got it? Your sleeping tree to set, please. All right. That's where we got those mammoth tusks from. So uh, you got a little connection there. And we killed a few giants for the Yarl. And we got a few giant toes out of it, too. And so, uh, All right. So I guess I'm going to wear the ancient farmer outfit. All right. This is our look now, guys. Is this our look? I don't know. I don't know if I'm happy with this look, but we're going to try it. And uh, maybe I'll improve it and do a little, put the hood back on or something. I don't know. Change it a little. I just don't want to have the dark hood. Like, I like having the circlet because I like our face looking bright. All right. I don't know about Dawn Guard. No. All right. What do we have? Dwemer purple. Oh, that's weird. Do I have anything good? I guess crimson. Well, there are red accents. And we got the red umbrella. I don't know about the red umbrella either. I think that's too much of a different shade of red. So we'll go with either art or lavender. Art is kind of cooler. Yeah, all right. That's subtle. Kind of matches the uh, armor, actually. With the, you know, different color. But you got the, the light and a little dark on it. All right. That works. I mean, we look like sort of like authoritative and uh, powerful. And that's what we are. So, 
and also good. And, you know, to have an all white, we're a force for good. And that's what's important right now. All right. Oh, God, this wind. Look at this. Speaking of white. Oh, my God. There's snow everywhere. Oh, I hate chicken. You better stay warm, man. We need those eggs. We got a whole family here now. All right. Well, that is about it for this episode. I mean, we're wrapping this up on a high note. We got a whole new family. We've got a new companion. Well, we've used them before, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna start a new chapter. And we are now have a firm foundation and established our life. And we're still gonna go on some adventures and clean up some quests. And I don't know what we're doing, but we're gonna go find more divines too and all that good stuff. So, thanks for joining us here, Lucette the Unlucky. Let's play Skyrim forever.